Welcome back to Biomod. On this week's episode, we'll be playing a little game. I will give the title to it Ooh. a little later. But oh. uh, right now, no, I'm, that's the title. Is a little, uh, a little later. I'm going to get. I'm Ben, joined by Anthony. It's a me, Andrew, Anthony. A me and Kevin. It's a me. What are Whoa. we? Wow. Has anybody been playing Mario <laughs> this week? No. This last, no. no. Scott no. asked me to play Mario Kart right as we we're about to record, <laughs> and I was like, about to record. You coming up with excuses? That's the to uh, not play Mario. That's Kart? the that's who's your, the who's your go to Mario Kart character? Uh, oh, Dry Bowser. Oh, you like Dry Bowser? Yeah, or, or, what's his name? Dry Bowser? Yes, Is Dry Bowser. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, boned Bowser. I have to keep up with uh. No, that's a different Scott character. and his Bowser his bones. fat Wario. You know? Sherlock, oh, does he do Wario? Sherlock. He dude, he's the best. I can't beat him. I think that was my original n64 character i go to the only time i can beat him is when it's online and everybody's better it's than wario us. pretty sure he's like it, there wow. is actually a meta in mario kart there is wario is actually like one of the best no, i think the heavy character with the the bike or whatever is supposed to be like the best no. but i played dry dry bones bowser and uh no, I think he wanted to play because there was a new update or something. They added like new courses or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, instead of releasing another game. I mean, yeah, you don't have to shell it sixty bucks. You shell it twenty. Well, they're releasing Splatoon three, so. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm, for the one that's, person that's that, that team. To. Yeah, that's oh, that's what they've that's been the doing. I mean, you yeah. say that, but Splatoon sold really well. Oh, I mean, <laughs> the Nintendo weebs will buy it up. I mean, there's whole, Nintendo has I mean, a they're really learning. Good. You're learning. There's a whole <laughs> there's a whole tournament for it now. Is a tournament. Yeah, yeah, like wow. a Splatfest. Like yeah, Splatfest. It's cool. I mean, it feels like Nintendo people are in like an alternate universe. So I guess I kind of am too with the game I've been playing. But um, yeah, what is it? <laughs> you can take, start with you. Take a guess. <laughs> uh, uh, Planet Side Two. No. Twenty Forty Two. Hell no! <laughs> I actually haven't touched that game in like two or three Shoot months. Is Final Fantasy the only game you played? Yes, it is the only <laughs> game. But interestingly enough, because of this private server, which I won't rehash everything. Uh, I actually kind of feel like I've not beat the game, but I've gotten to a place where I'm like, oh my gosh, I looked at my gear sets. I'm like, I think I have almost the best everything except for like the, the real end and end game stuff that, you know, what do you keep playing for? Uh, I went to a, to kill a sky God as white mage and I kept our tank alive. Nice. And it was like. The guy was like, do you have a good healing set? I'm like, do I have a good healing set? That's my thing. Let me show you my healing set. He's like, oh, (laughs) okay. (laughs) I was like, I got the HQ healing robe Uh that increases cure potency. Yeah. I got the, uh, you know, max haste set so I can, uh, my cures come out really fast. But um, the one thing is I've I've actually. His, His cures come out really fast. Yeah, they come out really fast. All that white magic, all that. <laughs> that, was, that was the important thing. To that say. was a cure coming out. Um, <laughs> yeah, I saved the cardboard box and not my phone. <laughs> I no, not the box. Not the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, I actually started playing a job that I have never played in the game. Oh, and it's uh, I've gone to the dark side. I started playing black mage. Nice, because oh, okay. uh, blowing stuff up is very fun. So I did that. I also started fishing. Um. Ben's favorite. Pastime. I don't know how it compares to fishing <laughs> VR, but it's like this little mini game where you like you catch a fish and an arrow shows up on the right or left. And you have to like push the stick. It's a little quick time game, um, but it's really slow to level up. So. <laughs> if yeah, that compares directly to fishing VR. Yeah, I was like, like, I don't know how they like do the same thing. I don't know how they do it in fishing VR, but it's interesting how so many different games do fishing mini games. Yeah, people like love fishing in 11 and I'm like. Mm-hmm. They love fishing in 14 also. It's one of those. It's like a podcast activity. Like if I was talking on the phone or listening to somebody, I could. Uh, I forgot it. You what? I forgot something for the game. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. It. It's, uh, you know. Did the phrase podcast activity? Remember? Yeah. I was like, I said podcast. <laughs> you're like, oh, gosh. oh, podcast. Um, oh, podcast. Uh, I realized that one of the stories that people love in the game, that the chains of Promathia expansion pack. The story's really bad. Hmm. Oh yeah, because I went through it and I'm like, it's the most convoluted Final Fantasy, convoluted, yeah, confusing, and the some of the characters are super annoying, and their mo- their motives are like 
they will uh, be good one mission and then they'll just decide, oh, I kind of like the bad guy, so I'll help him next mission. I'm like, <laughs> and they're like also the comedic relief character. Uh, so it's it's a terrible story. People love it. I thought it was really bad. Like in 15 when they're like, hey, there's this movie that you have to watch before you play the game. Advent Children? N- no. 15. 15, yeah. King's Glaive. Yeah, there's a movie that leads. And that there's, literally there's, is the fall of the empire. There's like which is four the or five animes that tell the backstory of every character. Really, you are traveling yeah, the, with the show. The game just is like, hey, you're you're four people. Was who, that not who in the original? We have a, a pretty strong bond, and we're not going to explain why at all. And then they're like, but there was this anime we released that. Well, because they're in a J-pop band, Andrew. That's all uh, you need to know. And then and then yeah, then there was a movie. It's like, oh, remember the fall of the empire? Oh, you don't. Well, there was this movie that we made. About about the fall of the empire. Uh, that, oh. that is happening, and it's like, what's the backstory to him, any of my characters? But you and got like, the movie. That's with in the, a, with an and then, then they're just like, well, there's all this other stuff that you can go check out uh, really to get all of that. And it's just like, why? Why? Well, that's, why didn't you put any of this in the game? I think Final Fantasy 15 is like a prime example of like people who uh, feel the need to defend something. Right, the idea, of, like I think, it's pretty obvious that Final Fantasy 15 is not a good game, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. people go, no, no, it's good. Here's I, why. Here's a couple of qualities think... about it that's pretty great. But then, as the years have passed, people go, yeah, you're right. It wasn't the greatest. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple of problems think, here. There was the, this, this. I think the and... biggest thing is after you get past the first area, there's a lot of gameplay, and the gameplay is extremely solid. Like. There isn't, it's not super jank. And so it's playing the game is super fun, but trying to understand any context of what's going on is just like, yeah, that was the frustrating thing is like in these, in the story for this expansion, it's like so convoluted. There's so many things happening where they're like, well, you see the Dawn goddess did this, but then there was another guy who's Promathia, who's like the the keeper of the apocalypse. And then he has like this messenger guy who's here and then they're like, oh, but it's you're the keeper. And then you go all the way through the story. It's like, no, you're not the keeper. Actually, this person's the keeper. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, uh, yeah, just a convoluted mess. But um, what was I going to say? I forgot. There was something I was going to say Uh-oh, about Final forgot. Fantasy. Oh, yeah, about 15. I, I played it for about like once I got to the open area, I'm like, I can't get into this. <laughs> I, I just couldn't. Yeah, I can't. The, the main characters I'm just not into. It's kind of like yeah, my that's, uh, Noxus. Yeah, and I, that was kind of the way. That's because you didn't know about it, the characters. The backstory, the backstory, you had yeah. to watch the anime. That's the same yeah. thing with Ten. I just the uh, the blonde was... kid was like a fat kid who was like wanted to be friends with Noxus when they were young. Wow. And oh, I know. He, he was, he was the only one that would be friends with him, and it was mm-hmm. like, yeah, I wonder why. And so now they're like best friends and. <laughs> No, the thing I was going to say about Eleven is... Uh, and then the big burly guy is like his bodyguard that he like grew up with. And, and then the guy with the glasses is like his mentor, advisor. Oh, they always got to have like Butler, an Auron type Butler, guy. And he's he's always respected Noctis. And... The problem with... I don't know if this is the case with 15, but in Eleven, I... Hey, just... you, don't, you don't get to do that. No. What do you mean? Yeah, I do. <laughs> the game is boring, not you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not you. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. P- the point of the game is those arms. Yeah, Does King's Slave makes you want make you wish that the game was set before the fall of the empire? No. Oh, okay. It just the game doesn't even talk about the fall of the empire. Like it, that's oh, the thing. Does. It just like after the movie came they out, they updated, updated it. it. Yeah. I hate you it when they do the that because they're like, oh, yeah. we didn't, were just movie scenes. We didn't yeah. explain the story really well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the problem with Eleven too. Is that uh, the cut scene? <laughs> Oh, you guys are that box is You're causing. Yeah. That. Andrew, uh, <laughs> enough out of you. I can hear it. I can hear it. Hey, oh, me. <laughs> um, the opening cutscene for Eleven takes place like twenty years before the the game takes place. Okay. And I'm more interested in that time period than I am the current. Uh, and I hate it's it. It's kind of like at the beginning of Lord of the Rings. No, not at all. What are you talking about, Andrew? I I, I only I've said wanted this. to murder I, you multiple times I, in my I, life. I, 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 I never wanted to I kill you more than in this moment. I literally only said that to get this reaction. You are, 
<laughs> you're no, out of your mind. Because Lord the Lord battle that happens at the beginning of the Lord of the Rings is very equivalent to the battles that happen multiple times throughout the series. I know. I was going to say the elves are in it, but then the battle Minas Tirith is pretty. And elves no, are and the elves. Elves show and then up elves are deep. the best thing, right? Elves are the worst thing. Uh, <laughs> first of all, if, if boring, elves were my man. favorite, Min- uh, Helm's Deep is not what I would point to as a good example of the elves. <laughs> oh, Haldir, no, they, were, they were helpful. They were super helpful. And Haldir was bad. Yeah, his, they, his get, sword they, they, they provided in his they provided bodies. No, they were cool to die. Come on, you don't think <clears> the elves showing up was like the most one of the most badass things in that movie? Yeah, yeah when they, they march and, and they, they show up, yeah, and they turn around with their bows and are like, "Did any elf live?" I was I just assume, Danny a couple Man. of them, but a lot of them knew they were going. But here's the thing: they were going there to die Legolas anyways lived. because they sacrificed. Ben's they correct. Were, what? Legolas, Legolas lived. lived. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, but I, like in the in the right they, in the right. I don't think they there's essentially a... came and they said, "Listen, we're sacrificing our journey to the west. Oh, okay, to come help you. Yes, they knew they were going to go yeah. there to die. I think it's implied they all died because when yeah, because the door is closed, the, there's no elf correct, in there. Exactly. And also, it did upset me. You know when they um, they broke through the wall with yeah. the bomb, with yeah. the bomb, and yeah. they shot a volley of arrows, and they charged him. They charged into like a wall of pikes. I was like, "You dumb elves!" <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> they yeah, shot they the volley, right. and they charged downhill, and the yeah, the warrior yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Although Gandalf does it later, and he's fine. So yeah. he's he's on a horse. Yeah, shadow effects. Yeah, that and that, then they blind and they blinded them. If you that's play Total War, that's even worse. That's the whole. That's the whole <laughs> point. Yeah, but they, well, blind, they blind, but he blinds them. them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, come on. Blind, Watch the movie. He's got his his Jesus powers activated. Yeah, exactly. Like, and off the white. Yeah. Also, he's with Carl Urban, so that's it's like true. Double. that gives him like six times the amount of and, yeah with Aomir and, and the Rohirrim. Yeah. yeah. That's all I played. Dude, I love. No, I I literally only because I love those movies. So it's like I I still think the I just knew if I said that. I would get that reaction. I, I, I uh, damn you, mind. you provided I in spades. <laughs> the third age is the age of men, right? Yes. The lamest beings in Middle Earth. Yeah. Um, what? Are you t- what? what are you the, talking about? The, you know, the only ones who could take out Sauron, but uh, yeah, because they're the only ones lamest, left. The lamest. The dwarves are all dead. No, no the, the men, elves. The dude, elves were there. Men. They couldn't men do anything. Lord of the, men in Lord of the Rings are the coolest. How many uh, men were corrupted by the rings? Only nine. Only, only, nine. only nine. That's a lot. <laughs> but, but like again, this may be cheating with Lord of the Rings fans. The but like well. the the Dunedain are pretty cool. Numenorians are really yeah. cool. Yeah, but those like, are like none of the, the elves were cr- corrupted. Yeah, what? None of the elves were corrupted. But what's Galadriel it? almost. What's, what's her face was on almost, the way, but she wasn't. I know she. She's like I have passed the test, and she's now I can retreat to the west. Come on, you, okay. Be honest. In in the Hobbit, Bard is the lamest part of the Hobbit. The movie, Bart, yeah. yes, Bart because the movie, oh, the Luke movie Evans, sucks. yeah, that's because the Luke book Evans is the lamest sucks. part. Yes, well, he's in it for like three seconds. <laughs> he's like, hey, I killed the. Doesn't he kill the dragon with like a harpoon or is it? Does he so shoot? he has a black raven um, that they find the weak point on it. Bilbo does Final and Fantasy then, Eleven, and then he tells, <laughs> and then he tells the tells Bard through the raven, and then uh, some actually some random dude shoots it down. Then Bard's like, I killed it. Mm. And well, it, it wasn't part. One more thing about Eleven. When my elf shoots a crossbow, he shoots it in the best way possible. Everybody else goes like this. Uh, that's, uh, he, he's he's shooting a rifle. He goes like this. <laughs> oh, he's boom. One-handed. He, he does the Goku like right in your face. Like mm. boom. So everybody else who shoots a bow shoots it like a rifle? Well, it's a crossbow. Like you don't have to be. Yeah, yeah oh. you got like a crossbow. <laughs> you didn't say he said bow. Oh, I, I said he said crossbow. He said did crossbow. he? Oh, yeah, okay. he said crossbow. Yeah, it, it's like you don't have to be. Aren't those different names? Like, isn't the one where you have to hold with two hands? Like, I know some people call it one-handed crossbows, but I thought there's a particular like nomenclature well, that they're separates. Not, they're not one-handed because the other races shoot at two hands. The elves shoot at one hand. Uh-huh, I can shoot a pistol two-handed. That doesn't mean it can't be shot one. Well, he's got long arms, right? So you can just like I'm all the way out here. Yeah, well, Arnold uh, Arnold shoots shotguns with one hand. Yeah, but that's yeah. oh okay. You want to talk about Terminator Two, the best scene, the, <laughs> the truck chase scene where he reloads the thing. Yeah, yeah. God. When they're riding the motorcycle in the aqueduct. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah. Does that do anything? Can you have two crossbows as an elf? No, no, you can't. Okay, you only so have it does, one. It does. He just looks uh, cool. It just it. looks cool. I have two knives said, like, as a Goku. thief. 
Yeah, because we, we just we watched, watched the, the thing where oh. Goku Kamehameha is Kefla in the oh, face. That so. reference is kind of weird if, without the <laughs> yeah, context. And I was like, what does he does Goku, have, when does Goku <laughs> shoot a dude in the face? <laughs> just uh, like Goku. Point blank. He, does he doesn't to, shoot a dude in the face. He yeah. shoots a fused woman in the face. Oh, okay. He does that to Cell, too. He he it, it's a, he teleports right in front of him and then shoots the Kamehameha. With a gun. Uh, okay, with a gun. It's that's, just the way, correct, the, right? the way that you I had think right. Yeah. I know. It's, the it's, way you said everything it's up. It's another Sigma moment. It's like, yeah, you know, like Goku does it. Yeah. You're like, Goku shoots people in the face? Yeah. Just just YouTube uh, Goku Kamehameha Kefla and enjoy two minutes of Everybody awesome. knows that Goku kills Frieza with a crossbow. Is it from Fortnite? <laughs> huh? Is it from Fortnite? Oh, it's no, from Super. Super. Okay. It's from Super, yeah. It's from the actual yeah. show. Yeah, it's not. This actually. isn't Star Wars. They don't put they don't put lore in Fortnite. Like, well, no, there's an well, island they, they you can liter- go to now. They literally just they, yeah, release, they put Goku in. They there's put an Dragon Ball Z, now and, watch and you can get Kamehameha episodes. And it is a it is it's a, a one hit kill. It's not a one hit kill. It's not. No, oh. to certain things, it's not. It okay. vaporizes a lot of people at the same time. Yes, and also anybody can do it. So you can be like Vader and jump up into the air and do a Kamehameha. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. See, I'm I'm all for if they put stuff in Fortnite to advertise. Where I draw the line is like what they, Star Wars. Yeah, did. Th- like it's. Yeah. It's actually starting to get on my nerves a little bit, like just how over the top it is. Yeah. Like again, it's one of my favorite scenes ever to uh, refer to is the scene from Step Brothers where they realize the tuxedos are messed up. Yeah, yeah. After they fire, <laughs> like I love. I just it's like the tuxedo scene from uh, Step Brothers where there's a moment where they show Goku. He's like speed running, and then he uses a grappling hook. Does like a, a spiral <laughs> roll, lands and fights Vader with a lightsaber, strikes him down, and then does the Dougie. And then it's like, I hate existence. <laughs> yeah, Zeno it makes me. Xenomorph even... runs in with an AK 47. Yeah, and it's, him like, away. it's like they, yeah, had Goku, they had Goku. Yeah. They had Goku use a grappling hook and a lightsaber. He didn't even Kamehameha anyone in this situation. Yeah, you can <laughs> Indiana Jones whip your way in. Yeah, it's just like. I'd accept Goku doing the Dougie over Vader doing the Dougie. Well. You get both. Too bad. So. Yeah, yeah. Fortnite. It's okay. I don't play Fortnite. But the good news is you can pay twenty bucks and be Goku. Twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Their skin upgrades are always twenty bucks. Oh, well, that's how they they make bank, right? Yeah. yeah it's not in VR, but it's pretty much essentially Ready Player One. Yeah, yeah it kind of yeah. is. Yeah, With they have the, one big. And they you saw they got rid of building, right? The yeah, they have a no building yeah. mode now. It's yeah, like so now yeah, the oh, yeah, standard yeah, is yeah. no building. I started watching streams of it after they launch that because i was like oh that's interesting it's not it's people giving me a seizure every time they build it's like mm. yeah that was frustrating it, it's one of those games where i watch it and i'm like this would be infuriating to play like you did play it yeah yeah but i wasn't any good at it but it, I, it would be infuriating to like, like, both in both actually, actually, <laughs> actually everyone at this table you played it the most so i probably uh, did we, you play we it? played it around equally I probably played Fortnite for a total of maybe like 10 hours. Like total. <laughs> total. I think I played Fortnite for a total of like 10 minutes. Yeah, like, well, that's not too Yeah. <laughs> you played a total of every game for that, a total that of 10 That one minutes. game I played with you, I think, is the only time I played I like Fortnite. maybe at an hour. Maybe. What one game? You and I played a game together. A Fortnite? Mm-hmm. We did? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't even remember that. Yeah. Yeah, no, the last time I played uh, Fortnite, the the only thing special about it was like costumes. It had yeah. no like yeah. unique characters in it yet. Same. You know it, the because like Thanos was like the big that was yeah, first, and that yeah. was twenty eighteen. That was when yeah. I played it most, and that was the most fun mode where you could get the Infinity Gauntlet and become Thanos, and everybody's mm-hmm. like running away from you and stuff. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, well, they have a thing in this where Vader's kind of like a a world boss. Where I've you're seen like that the where map, and then him. if you take Vader down, you can get a lightsaber and start wrecking people. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I what about you, Andrew? Mm. Uh, <clears throat> let's start with the huge. Um, the huge. I was on Game Pass and uh, downloaded oh, okay. that's, uh, that's Wolf- huge. Wolfenstein like... 3D. And then I played one level, and I was like, I, I've beaten this game before. <laughs> so then I <laughs> uninstalled it. Uh, because the Wolfenstein... Why did you download it? The Wolfenstein 2, because I didn't realize I had play, like, I played it. Oh, okay. Wolfenstein 2, okay. you can go back and play like the old first game levels. You like find them, and they're like special bonuses. Oh, okay. Okay. And so I've beaten the game by doing that. Uh, and I, did, I hadn't realized it. When I started, I was like, this all is familiar. Like, I've done all this. And I was like, 
Oh, yeah. I, that's why I played Wolfenstein 2. So I did, just deleted it. <laughs> uh, I attempted a game called Elder Scrolls Adventures Red Guard. What in the hell? Which came out in the late 90s. Uh, yeah. And it was the third game of Elder Scrolls. And they're like, you know, instead of first person, we're going to do a third person fencing game in which you play a Red Guard. And it's uh, a set character. Like, it's not create your own create, character. Okay. Um, and then I did one battle, and I was like, this is unplayable. And I uh, turned, and then I uninstalled you it. You did one battle, so it's at least playable to an extent. I mashed buttons. Uh-huh. Did you do the tutorial? So, there was no tutorial. Okay. I was looking for a tutorial. Are you sure? It literally <laughs> goes, it literally goes, oh, uh, we're on this ship. There's two guys that... Uh, t- are pirate themselves onto the ship, fight, and oh. there's and then there's nothing. It's like they just throw you yeah. in it. Yeah, and it's just like into uh, the deep end, and like oh, I was like literally I pressing all the buttons, and I was just like, what is going on? And then it was like control and alt were stab and par- parry block. I don't I don't know. For a guy uh, who hates boats, you sure do play a lot of games with boats. I didn't know this game was going okay. to start on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you should try uh, this game called Skyrim. I, That's another Elder <laughs> Scrolls game I, I, I heard of. You're the Oblivion starts on a boat, too. It does start on a boat. Not Oblivion. Morrowind. Morrowind, yeah. Morrowind okay. Morrowind Oblivion starts, starts on a boat. I've yeah. so yeah. never yeah. played uh, it. Skyrim, you start on a And then a I did, I got further in Path of Exile. Um, oh, yeah. Got to Act 2, got to the forest area. I like the forest. Area. How many spreadsheets cool. do you have up? Uh, less. Uh, so it's I've it's now like I only instead. have two. Times. Uh, he's playing Path of Exile. Yeah. yeah Did I you know. start Path of Exile? No. no, no, no. Uh, I'm still on. I think I only really. I'm in looking at uh, one. Tab. A conversation came up where Kevin was like, "Wait, you start playing oh, Path of Exile?" <laughs> and we're like, "Kevin, last time oh, we yeah. recorded, yeah. we yeah. talked about Andrew playing Path yeah. of Exile." Yeah. 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 It was because I went back and listened to it. I was like, "Holy cow!" I just totally blanked. Yeah. This conversation happened. Because I like, think he was I got like, confused. When did you start? I, I got like, confused oh because he played yes, the, yeah, the podcast the before, before, so yeah. I was like, uh, and then uh, I started I'll be start playing it next week, next yeah. time. <laughs> I started Two Point Hospital or Two Point Campus, Campus, the new one is, that just came out. Yeah, and it's it's fun. I think it's uh, it's like a sim, I yeah, simish, but like comedy esque, mm-hmm. and it and it's not Sims. It's like um. It's like human zoo tycoon. So it's like <laughs> instead of a zoo, you're running a, a university. So it's like you build classrooms mm. in which the students go into and then you have teachers. Yeah, it's it's like it's a tycoon uh, game. I mean, isn't that that game seems like it'd be pretty easy. It's like students come to the campus. They get in debt. Game over. Uh huh. You you become a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. They, they're yeah. they're slaves for the rest of yeah, their life. Yeah. 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 Uh, and it it was fun. I think I don't know how much time more time I'm going to put into it. I think I enjoyed Two Point Hospital a little bit more, because um, it had they they toned down the comedy a lot in this one. Whereas like before, in the hospital one, it's like you're curing ridiculous diseases. Like they're not real diseases, and so it's it also like, seems more manageable a hospital than a campus. Yes, yes, very much so. Um, so yeah, I yeah, what do you that. even do with a campus? Like, what do you, you build teach? classrooms and then like you have to say you you, this with is the a, science classroom and with a roller coaster park. Yeah, but roller coaster you can build a roller coaster. Yeah, you build a uh-huh. university. You can build. You could put like a banana stand. Uh huh. You put vending you put, you machines, bookstore, and then you have. And I built a, a classroom. Yeah, but different. Well, there, yeah, there's like a lecture genres hall, and, and then there's a science lab, and then there's a library. But they're all classrooms, basically. Yeah, but you, what about building like I a don't sport? know why you build like a sports field. And have I just like remember athletics? going to my college. I, I was like, don't this know. is so I didn't boring. Get that far. <laughs> my college campus. I was like, hey, look, a classroom. Oh, look, another class. Well, oh, look, a lab yes. attached to a classroom. Yes, but this is like here's a science room, and there's like. Sciencey stuff in he it. He never and said it, it was exciting. Yeah, <laughs> he just that, that's what it is. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you're probably with, This is what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, so the goal of the game is what? Hey, exactly? guess guess. Build a pressure washer yeah, simulator. Campus. You pressure wash. 
Well, that sounds exciting. Because <laughs> you get to pressure wash a whole yard, apparently. Uh, yeah, a whole backyard. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it's 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 fun for those who enjoy that I feel like you type of can pressure wash many, th- many things. I don't think a backyard is one of them. Well, like a Tell fence. that to the pressure well, washing. Ba- oh. You can pressure wash things in a backyard, oh, but yeah, I don't yeah, think you were pressure back. washing the backyard. I pressure I washed the lawn. <laughs> There's mud everywhere so there's but you wouldn't... very little that you don't pressure wash just the grass i area. get i get down exactly I that's the down, backyard i get down to the rock uh okay so like a deck a fence yes thing made of wood but not the back most of the backyard, backyard, backyard andrew's talking about is like stone <laughs> and rock and stone I, I and get, rock like, and I, stone so you so you pressure wash the area i get what you're saying in the back of the house yeah. if you have a but pool, not the backyard to pressure wash yeah, exactly. In your face. It's the backyard. In, in, <laughs> in your face. <laughs> it's the whole backyard. <laughs> Can you pressure wash the college campus? <sighs> I don't know. I didn't, I don't think I didn't get, I didn't get, I don't think I didn't he get, definitively say I didn't, no to that question. I didn't, I didn't get past the backyard. So oh, I don't know. You, you know for a fact you can't pressure wash anywhere on the campus? He didn't say anywhere on a campus. He, he said, said the campus. The, the, the college campus. Yeah, the, the campus. whole campus. You know, the one that's he didn't the, say. That's the, no, that's the uh, sequel. Uh, uh, that's, be that's careful. Sequel. He did not say the whole campus. He said the campus. The campus. So if he pressure washed one brick on a building, would that count as pressure washing the campus? No. Would your boss say that <laughs> counted? Well, he, he didn't say the whole campus. <laughs> and you would be fine. I'm going to try that and, in my job when I go back. I'll be and like, and <laughs> that's why I would argue the semantics. Kevin, you wrote one line of code. I was like, well, you just said write code. You yeah. just washed this one area. Let me ask you something. Yeah, but you didn't say the whole let me ask you, Okay, house. yeah, let me ask you something, Andrew. This wall right here. Uh-huh. If I ask, can you paint the wall? Do you have to paint the entire wall to answer my question? Yes. No, you don't. You can what? put a little streak of paint on it and be like, yes, you can paint the wall. And then I would punch you. <laughs> but I didn't say Andrew paint the entire wall. I asked, "Can you paint the wall?" Then you'd paint the wall red with yeah. his blood. Yeah. Like, gotcha. Got you. Your face. Your face. You're right. You're right. When people oh. pay Ben and my dad, and they're like, "Can you paint my house?" They just go and put a little strip, and they're like, yep. "I'm assuming it's a part of the contract. You paint, paint the whole house. What paint. part of the house are you asking me I to paint?" I don't know if there's a I'm verbiage. Sh- I'm sure in there's a, their I'm sure there's a question. Whole house. A lot of haircutters are like, you want all of them cut? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they ask, what type of haircut do you want? Yeah. <laughs> and you go, <laughs> and you I know, show them a picture of someone over here. And then in the they, 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 they that get cut. one. And they're like, yep, that was in this part. Yep, you I said, cut it. I cut the hair. <laughs> uh, and then the game I played the most of, uh, which uh, is a lot, um, is Fire Emblem's Three Hopes. <laughs> Uh, Wait, is, is it Fire Emblem's Three Hopes? It's Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, thank you. For it's it. not a Demon's Souls. Yeah. Situation. Yeah. That, well, I'm, I was interested to yeah. see if it was. It was. It is not. Their three uh, hopes are Andrew, Andrew, and Andrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it is probably the best Warriors game I've ever played. Oh, it's the Warriors one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Misu or whatever yeah. it's called. Musu. Uh, like Musu. Because Musou, they. It is it's, a it's a it's it's uh the soup that Kevin Yeah, I was going to say miso, miso, yeah. miso soup. soup. <laughs> soup. Uh, it's it's a fire emblem game. Uh and by yeah, what you said no, earlier, but like, you said hey, I played fire emblem. But like fire well, emblem not every warrior. Fire emblem spin-off. yeah. Fire emblem warriors is not a fire emblem game. That is a that is, hey, we need to do a Warriors game. Are you telling game. me Hyrule Warriors is not a Zelda game? <laughs> it's not a Zelda game. Oh, uh, what? Uh, no. It's okay. However, Bre- it's okay. Breath of the Wild. Sonic but Pinball uh, isn't a Sonic game, <laughs> but uh, Hyrule Warriors Two or Age of Calamity, I think is what it's called, uh, is actually a Zelda game because actually the story is canon. Wait, the- so you said it's a Fire Emblem game, but it's the best Musu game? Yes. You pull- so how is that? So that doesn't make the storyline is a Fire Emblem storyline, like. They're not going out of their way to be like, this is a Warriors, a, a mashup of all the Fire Emblem characters. Like, this is three houses, the... the no, t- Andrew, or three hopes. Andrew's three hopes. <laughs> yes. No, I said, yes. Uh, so it's three houses, but you're, the main character of three houses didn't leave the mercenary group that they were in the first one. So your new main character is the, the new main. Uh, 
and you go through like you choose which house you want to belong to and it's it's almost beat for beat are the houses are like uh like elements i'm going to no no, 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 no. like elements no 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 so they're just um what are the point of the houses it's just the people you is it like game of thrones houses yeah 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 um and you have the empire uh then you have like the paladin holy nation and then you have the the free people and it's like the they're just called the alliance um and so then Mm. Uh, so you're telling me mm. that one house is called the Empire and one house is called the Alliance? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. What's and, the uh, and then you the have third the, house is called the and then Ewoks. You have, <laughs> and then you have and then you have the third king, the Holy Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. so. That's funny because in <clears throat> Final Fantasy XI, there's Sandoria, which is like the kingdom. Mm-hmm. There's Bastok, which is like the Republic. And then Windurst is like some alliance of something. Oh, nice. Like if they have three, they're like, so we got the Empire and the uh, Rebels. <laughs> and then there's the and religious there's like, people. Yeah, that's really what this is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I know in Three Houses, the expansion is like a mercenary group that you can be a part of. Of course. Um, no, but the, the, the gameplay, the gameplay. In this, what is this on? Switch. Okay. Uh, the gameplay is the handheld. Really, mm. oh, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that console. Uh, the gameplay <laughs> with Warriors games is just like you know, choose your character, button and mash doesn't start matter. Hitting stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, does, it really so doesn't Andrew, matter. So Andrew, you telling me that when you play this game, you just button mash and it's playable? <laughs> is that what you're telling me? <laughs> just you know, asking for. Yeah, what, what clarification? Makes this I'm one? never going to explain a game ever, <laughs> ever. Well, you play so many games. Yeah, <laughs> we let you get through five of them. I, mean, <laughs> uh, I think the tutorial for Red Guard was the booklet it came with back I, in the day. I oh. think that, yeah. If it makes you feel better, I s- speed watched a 20 minute intro to Red Guard just to see if there's a tutorial, so that if there was, I could berate <laughs> yeah. Andrew. There's no tutorial. There's no, you yeah. have to hit pause and look up controls. Yeah. And, no. Uh, no, so, like, they took the tactical aspect of Fire Emblem and actually implemented it into this. So there's, instead of, uh, you know, my sword type is better than your sword type, uh, so I beat you. It's, they take the, the, like, swords are not good against spears and spears are good against axes. Rock, paper, scissors. The rock, paper, scissors aspect. Are most Fire Um, Emblem games turn-based? Uh, they're the tactical turn base, yeah. Like, of, yeah. like a XCOM. All of them. XCOM. Oh, yeah. okay. They're not. They're not turn based. They're like XCOM with a the That's strategic, the tactics. XCOM is turn based. Yes, but not turn based like Final Fantasy or oh, I see. Oh, I see what you're saying. Pokemon. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like Final Fantasy tactics. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, okay. And so they take that and they implement it, and so. One of the cool things is you can actually select your officers and then go tell them where to go and where to fight. And so it's like, while I'm doing stuff down here, I'm telling the rest of the officers to go do stuff up north. And it's like, so, oh, you are of most warriors where they're just doing whatever. Exactly. They're doing whatever and they're terrible at it. And it's I, I can't rely on them and I have to run all over the map because I have to do everything. Yeah, yeah. Whereas with this is like, go take that base because we have a time limit and I can't go do that. Um, and so it's like, then they get there. I'm only one man. I'm only one man. Uh, and they, and it's like, Hey, you know, this person has advantage against this person. So they're going to take it faster. Uh, and so then you can use the classes and they have the class based system from fire emblem and you can change your classes and, uh, upgrade your classes. And it's just, it's literally fire emblem, except that just the, the combat gameplay is different. That's the only thing. And so I, it's oh, really, sounds, really cool. That sounds rad. Yeah. And then having the uh, the choosing between the houses. So there's actually three different storylines that you can go through. And so the replayability on this, like, I'm probably going to play through this um, two well, more times. Most mooses are already pretty replayable just because. Yeah, but you once you, you're it's not really playable in a different way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not sounds, really paying attention to the story at all. Instead of just being a teammate, team up. This Except for a new dynasty. Sounds like both teams got together and. Yeah, created yeah. something special. Yeah, it seems like Nintendo when, really worked with. When did them. this game come out? Two months ago. Last, oh, last, last month I think actually. Oh, it's new. Yes, mm-hmm. brand new. Yeah. Wow. 
And uh, a lot of people are saying it it is their favorite like Warriors game. Like it's just uh one of the best parts of the game. There's a dodge roll button and uh I'm very happy for it. Oh. Because the the Simple officers mechanics. yeah, the, the officers um are not lame. So they actually do attack you. So you have to dodge and block mm. and stuff. Mm. I might actually have to try this game. Yeah, Sounds the the peons still are just fodder. Like fodder, they don't like do anything. Run through and smack. Of course. Yeah. you gotta have something to smack around. Yeah. Um, and then they have a team up option, which I think they introduced in Warriors Orochi Three. Um, but you can grab an officer on the map and have them with you, so that way, if you encounter an enemy that has the opposite weapon type of you, you can switch to them and use that. Um. Yeah, and then you know having mages on the map versus in archers, and so like they have that play style that's different um, for each character. Hmm. Uh, but then you can, you know, you can change classes, <clears throat> so it's like that person doesn't have to be an archer. It's just that they're going to have the best attacks as an archer, but you can change them to uh, an iron knight and have them fight with an axe, um, and then play with them with an axe, and so. It's it's really well done. Um, I'm very happy that they have a thing called durability in there for the weapons. In the the worst thing in video games. In in the other fire emblems, that's how many times you can attack with that weapon before it goes away. In this one, I don't know why it's there. <laughs> like I literally don't understand. The only Cause, time because your your weapons don't break down. Like you don't have to. The only time I don't mind durability is when the weapon still stays. It's just not useful correct, anymore. Yeah. It's the worst one. Yeah, it that's just yeah, that yeah, gone. that yeah. I'm okay with. Um, because then if you have to have a resource to do it, then like yeah, then yeah, it yeah. becomes an element of the game mm-hmm. as opposed like to, just repairing as it opposed of, as opposed to being like I'm never going to use this weapon because when I do it's yeah, going to break and then I can yeah. never use it again. Yep. Mm. E. Uh, yeah. Super fun. I've played it for about eight hours. What's the highest hit count you've gotten? Do you think? <sighs> 10,000? Okay. Um, Vegeta. At one point, I did like 2 million damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I was like, why Why even that high? Like, what? That's the... like Knights of the Round. Type yeah, damage. it was ridiculous. Um, but I think, because there's a lot with the, with the hit count, I think there was a time, like my special, the main character special does a ton of like small hits. So it just shot up a ton, and when mm. and it doesn't say you used one attack. That's one hit count. It's how many people did you hit with that one attack? So if you have like thirty or forty people on that you've got into your attack, and then you do like sixty or seventy slices, it's like then that number just shoots up a ton. Nice, yeah. So that's that's. I it. started yesterday. In- <laughs> Eight hours. Yeah. I mean, he's a, he, that's what he does. He plays <laughs> yeah. these small games for 20 minutes like, and then goes, Bam, Bam. yeah, I played this game for oh, 86 yeah. hours in two I did, days. I did put another hour into uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've heard people like Yeah, it's good. Uh, I, I was, every listen, single person I've heard Xenoblade was like, Chronicles I wish 3. there was some way to turn off the bio, battle dialogue. Oh, dude, it's so great. There's <laughs> no battle the di- dialogue in Fire Emblem Warriors. It's great. Uh, except for you like Three Hopes. Fire Emblem Warriors? A day. It is Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes is the name of it. Are that. you sure? Actually, I'm not. Is it just Fire Emblem Three Hopes? I think it's Hope? Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Hopes. Yeah. Um, it was funny, though, because the Fire Emblem, like the Warriors games. Since oh, you are correct. Warriors. Is Warriors. Hopes. Yeah. They do like that mashup that I was talking about. So but every time I'm playing this game, I'm like, okay, what new Fire Emblem character are they going to throw at me? I'm like, oh. It's not because this is a this is actually legit. <laughs> it's not just Scary. a mashup of characters, and so it is characters from um, three houses. Uh, but I didn't play enough of that to. I only know the house that I'm part of because Blyleth. Blyleth is the main character who you is Lubu who in this is. game. <laughs> who, what, what what name did you Bylanth? Bylanth. Yeah, I didn't say Bylanth. I said Byleth. Oh, Byleth. Blyleth. Instead of Blyleth? Yeah. The, the name you B-Y- said... B-Y-L-E-T-H. Oh, yeah. I said Byleth. Instead of Blyleth. Yeah. Um, 
No, the uh, I think I'm just trying to think if I saw BY because that's how it's. It spelled. was something that Kevin was like, like if you had pronounced it right, a, I would have got. Oh, it. Oh, is yeah. that stupid? Uh, the diner dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How's Where, the character's name actually pronounced? Blyleth. Is it by Blyleth? Yeah. Or no, I it, it no, no. I think it's Byleth. Yeah. But you didn't put Byleth. You put a different. name. But it was like a totally like it when it started with a B and it had a Y in it. But that was. Yeah, and I, and I was contesting because I was like, if that if it was pronounced right, I would have known. But yeah. you guys said I should have gotten it anyway, which is yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. Uh, but but Byleth is like the Lubu of this game. Like they are, they're called the Ashen Demon, and it's like when they show up, they just take out everything, and it's like the horror aspect of like. There was one mission I was doing. And it's like, oh, Byleth showed up, and it's like, you lost this stronghold. You Wait, lost Byleth this stronghold. Is a- Dude or a girl? It's either one. It's it's, it's, a, it's three houses. It's whatever maybe you choose. Said, maybe you I said Bleth. I don't. I'm not seeing that. Bleth. Bleth. Yeah. Which. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so it's really funny. It's just like. That's why when you said, do you mean Bleth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't think it was that far. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So it, it is. That is a funny part of just like every time they show up, it's like. Oh crap! And then well, you gotta have a lubu, and it takes forever to take them out. And it's just like when they get taken out, they're like, "Nah, I'm bored. I'm leaving." And your character's like, "I didn't defeat them. They just kind of left." Well, that's and like, like lubu. Yeah, exactly. Just, or, so, or Vader. Yeah, at the end of Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Oh, you don't even tickle <laughs> in that game. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. Um. So yeah, it's really fun, and people who are into the Fire Emblem lore, it's a good entry to the series. Um, they're starting to do that. The new uh, I wonder if Lance Persona enjoys Warriors games because he loves Fire Emblem. Yeah, uh, he's been playing Liberation a little bit as well. I know that. He's so, gotten. Yeah, I know you it. played it a little. Yeah, bit. I think I'm on the fourth area. But well, you can go to in yeah, different yeah, yeah. orders. I'm so. just thinking. I think I've done three. Okay. I've like 100 percent like through the areas. Okay. Um. Except for the demon area, because there's like characters that are like level fifty there, and it's just like, what? I have to come back to this way later. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I played. Nice, nice. Anthony, you got a ding? Yeah, my wife. <laughs> my wife. Why? <laughs> no, this, so this last couple of weeks have been pretty crazy for me with football two days and some family emergencies came up, but. Um, I, last time I told you guys about buying the World Slayer DLC, right? Did I talk about playing through it? I don't the what? think I did. You talked Outriders, about, you talked Outriders, about buying World it. Slayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked about I buying it and then starting it. Starting it, yeah. yeah. So I've now beaten it uh, twice, almost three times. <laughs> Jeez. Um, just because with, you have to beat it with different characters to get to the end um, game. And really what you want to do is the end game is uh, yeah. all these different trials. Of course. Um, but it, it's like this fun, uh, again, Kevin, like you should play Path of Exile. <laughs> you should play Outriders because it is, it is Diablo just in different versions. Yeah. And Outriders is Diablo with guns. It really, it really is, is yeah. in a lot of ways. Like, like, I feel like it's more Diablo with guns than Destiny. Was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would agree with that. Mm. That's yeah. st- with that stance. Um, in a lot of ways, there's like specific builds and what character Does you have. Does it have and, vertical progression? But which one's vertical pro- progression? Where... They they raise either they raise the level cap or the gear that comes out in the next patch is like more powerful than it's anything. not. It's so not they an MMO, so, so they introduced a thing called so they have root rarity uh, uh, loot rarity and like you okay. have like le- legendary which is like what you okay. want to get but then there's legendary sets if you get all the sets then it activates a certain ability it's horizontal. Um, but in the new uh, DLC, they an- they uh, released because it's a looter shooter, not an MMO. Yeah, mm. they released gear that is called anomaly powered, and it has a special third slot that um, has a mod in it. But you can't change that mod. So, in a way, your older gear is obsolete in the way that it's not anomaly powered. So it can mm-hmm. only have the two mod slots. Both can be modded, and you can still have the legendary set. But because it's not anomaly powered, you're essentially down a mod. So you would, so you would, right. you would still have to grind to get the anomaly powered version of said set. 
I guess would be the way to to look at it is like now the meta is like everything you have needs to be anomaly <laughs> needs to yeah. be anomaly. It's, power. it's like it's like Diablo. It's like, a version because what's stopping them from just saying okay now we have something with four slots and all your three slot stuff. Well, I don't know relevant. if they're gonna do anything else with this game. Oh, man, okay, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, and and really, because like when we say it's like Diablo, we we really mean it. Yeah. Like you're not there's no PvP. It's, you, it's just pure PvE. There's not even like raiding. It's just yeah, missions. It's, it's, it, in the Diablos, runs. you're trying to, in, like yeah. in this, there's apocalypse tiers. You're trying to reach apocalypse yeah. tier 40. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like torment it's like, in a lot of ways. And then the end <sighs> game. So the end game, the way it's set up is it's basically this map. And you can follow this map. And so, like the first thing you can do is you can take a right and go into this like almost like stadium like combat where you're sitting in one place and have to fight people as they come out of doors Mm -hmm. and if you beat it then you're guaranteed a good i think it's like a foot apparel for (laughs) your character like a good foot (laughs) loot for a boot a good foot equip yeah Yeah, Yeah. good foot equipment but then every other uh when you go back to progress through down the map you have two choices you can go to one combat area or another combat area. One is you fight the ferals, which are like gun based um, cover. The other one is you fight um, like the monsters, mm. um, and they and then that isn't cover based. That one is more running around mm. and okay. being overwhelmed by ads and different things like that. So you can choose what your build is better for. Am I better in here or there? And then when you progress further, there's every once in a while you get other. There's like one area you fight like on a set of docks, and then at the end of fighting through the docks you fight one big monster and if you beat him, you get a chess piece, right? Mm. And then every once in a while, you fight a boss and then when you beat that boss, you're guaranteed a bunch of really good loot and the goal is to get to the very end of the thing as a boss and you're trying to clear it with higher apocalypse tiers. Okay. Um, yeah. And if you want and you don't want to keep running those, you can still run the old end game from when the game first released and you basically run these missions to get... Um, resources that you can then use to buy better equipment. And if you beat certain amounts of levels, I think they're called like missionary uh, position. Yeah. Missionary position. They're like, (laughs) yeah, they're like these different missions that you can do that. If you beat a certain amount of them, then it unlocks the ability to fight like a super missionary mission. Um, So, and, 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 but it changes up, like it changes the area you fight, changes the people you fight. It changes like, it just gives you a different taste as so opposed to the fighting same thing again and again. Yeah, 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 as opposed to fighting this, the singular loop is it's essentially over over. essentially it's essentially the same thing. You know the map. Maybe the enemy sometimes change, like the area when you do the gladiatorial for the foot uh, equipment. The, uh, sometimes it's guys with guns. So sometimes it's monsters. Yeah, in that area, it's guaranteed foot. It's in another foot. area, it's guaranteed helmet. In another and area, it's guaranteed. It then it's like, oh, I, you know, I have a legendary set, but I'm missing the chess piece. So oh, I'm I always see. gonna go to oh. this area because it boosts my ability to be able to get a, a chess piece. Well, that's yeah, because one of the frustrating things about MMOs, and I know this is not, but like when it's full on RNG, like in Destiny, yeah, where it's like you can get a good weapon, you can do a raid and get nothing. Yeah, you can get a, you can do a raid and either get a crappy weapon or you could get the weapon you want with really bad, whatever it's called on, like like uh, perks or whatever. Sure. It's it's really frustrating because like I I remember like Twitch streamers the end game used to be you just run the same dungeon like fifty times mm-hmm. to get the, the random chance you get some shotgun or something. The good news is is that they shortened the ability to go to an end game with this. So if oh, okay. you get the DLC, um, you can't go to the end game uh, straight away. But the campaign that they give you is only like five hours. Ah, so it's like. And once you know how to do it, it, I don't even think it's five hours. It's maybe like two, two and a half. If you want to like speed run it, you're yeah. like, just like you put it on super easy and you just blaze through. You can beat it very, very quickly. And then you can bump up the apocalypse tier and do in game runs game. with people and everything like that. It's really unfortunate that, again, that there's four classes, but they only let you do three. <laughs> yeah. Just because the mix of classes is a lot of fun as far mm-hmm. as like having a tank and you can be a healer. And the Techromancer has Kevin written all over it as you far as... Turret. You can do like... So literally I have a build. The Techromancer is slowly becoming my favorite uh, class because there's like this build where um, one of the anomaly powers is you can double your turrets. So now I have like four turrets <laughs> yes. out. 
One yes. shoots, one slows, one freezes, one does this. Yes. And then I literally have a, a freeze grenade that you drop in front of you and everyone within a certain radius just freezes. And oh, it's nice. super powerful and it's great. It's that, really, it's a lot of fun to do. If it's you get, that, that's the closest thing to like my, because it sounds, it's like a support class with turrets. It is. So there, <laughs> like, there are abilities that you can use. Like, so each class has three class tiers that they can uh, spec into. Yeah. And one is like a fire power based class, like pure weapon focused. Right. One is like a support build, depending on what class you use. Like if you're the Techromancer, if you go to the support build, basically th- what you're trying to do is drop your turrets in areas and people can stand next to them. It can heal them. Got and it. You can okay. boost heals for people. And the other one is anomaly powered, which is essentially like skill focused. Your skills are now super powerful and your weapons don't do as much damage. Your weapons are essentially there to kill adds and survive long enough just for your cooldowns to get done with. Yeah. Uh, and almost everything is all the meta is just AP focused. No one ever does any other version unless they're playing with other people. Then they can use the support or oh, right, whatever. Right. But if you're trying to solo anything, everything's AP build. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then they introduced, um, uh, they're called like PAX points, which essentially adds two more uh, added on classes, uh, class types that you can use. Like the Techromancer, you're either one of these three, but now you have a second chance to add on top of it where you can go one of two paths and each of those two paths have two branching off. So they added like even more yeah, okay. build types um, on what you're looking See, for. See, that's cool because I like games where it's like you have different ways to play the same class. It's not just like you're underpowered. You need to grind this gear so mm-hmm. you're up to the current level. Yeah. And, and you can respec for free at any time. Nice. So you can constantly go, I'm going to do this kind build, like, I'm going to do this. Once again, like Diablo. Yeah. Like it's, Diablo, it reminds me kind of like Borderlands 2, how you can, um, not Borderlands 2, but Borderlands, Borderlands as well. As well. Yeah. How you can spec different, like like the flat could have different pets and they did different things or yeah, something. Yeah. And the so there is a this bittersweet... Symphony. Um, what? What's the song? <laughs> it's the song that plays at the beginning of every Se- Seahawks game. Like when they come out of the... Is that because they're going to lose? I don't know. That's the song. Wait, is that a point. real thing? Yeah. The, oh. They come out to the... Dun, dun, dun. I was like, the name of the song doesn't exactly sound like you're keep hopeful going. about keep, their win. Keep <laughs> keep um, They're going to win. Bittersweet. Anyways, a bittersweet. Yeah. Anyways, uh, before I was rudely interrupted. Uh, happily <laughs> interrupted. <laughs> I thought you were making a joke about them losing all the uh, time. No, no, no. Uh, that's the name of the song. That uh, they run I think to. I know what you're talking about. But yeah. um, <laughs> it's bittersweet in this, like when you beat the end game, or not the end game, the story part of the DLC... Like, I mean, spoilers for Outriders, oh no, is Whoa. basically they go, because the whole point of the original Outriders is that you land on this uh, planet because people have destroyed Earth, now they need a new fine place, a new place to colonize, but then when they get there, the planet wants to kill them, then you're infected by the planet, and you're put to sleep for 30 years, you wake up and you have superpowers, and now you're trying to save people. When uh, did that happen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's all what? the stuff been skipped. Oh yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, right. So, and then now you're trying to save it, space, and then space, even the whole, point, the whole point of it is like the 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 anomaly is this field, and they're keep yeah. trying to figure out where the anomaly is coming from, while also everyone's killing each the other with superpowers. Um, and then like then you find out there's an area outside of the anomaly, and there used to be this ancient civilization. You get there and you try to find peace, but it isn't actually what you think it is. But there's still hope, and the DLC picks up where the game ends. And then you're going, okay, uh, there's like this powerful crystal. It's like if we can get this one last chance Is it to dark? use the powerful crystal. Nope, it's not dark, but it could be. It's always a crystal. It's, it's like dark blue, I guess, it's, you know, like, but basically <laughs> if they can dark, use it's, this. It's not purple. It's what not happens dark. is you basically get closer to the source of the power of the anomaly. And then there's like this domed area that's beautiful and serene. And there's like one of the last packs, the ancient people there, who's like, you know, humanity has no hope, but you're like, give us a chance. So they do. And then she basically uses the crystal to create a dome on the planet that people can live in. Like think in... Um, Is it a dome over the dome? No, it's in a different area. Okay. And not in her dome. Okay. Because that crystal's power Not in right my now. dome. Thinking yeah. of Logan's Run is what you're going to say, right? No, I was going to... Yeah, s- Logan's Run. Just or the dome. It's the dome with Michael Jiglis. No, it, uh, Where it, the people, uh, they, they reach like 21 and they have to kill themselves or the... Dome will be overpopulated, and then they come out of the dome, and they find out that the world's fine. Um, uh, spoilers like the for village? Logan's Run. Like the <laughs> for village? Logan's Run. <laughs> like the village, where they they won't let people out? It's kind of like that, but yeah. not the same. Uh, 
No, it's like the other movie where sounds important. John Krasinski. Silence of the Lambs. Quiet Place. Quiet Place, but the second one. You know when they go to the island and everything's oh, all yeah, serene. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a dome, but over yeah. that, so like everyone's mm-hmm. safe and protected. It's like but, Lens Run. But your guy, your guy's <laughs> like, hey, you know what? Like, I need to figure out what's going on and try to stop the anomaly. And the person's like, well, if you step out there, you can't come back. And you're like, okay, and you leave, even though like. I'm assuming the lady Chana you had a baby with because she's holding the baby at the end of the game and you guys kind of have a thing going. You're like, all right, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. And then mm-hmm. you like leave and then, and then you go to this area and you go, all right, well now you're just going to make run after run after run until you beat it and fi- find out this like Hades in a lot of ways oh, yeah, where you yeah. have to beat it a certain amount of times. And all that's left is these at the each station you can like, uh, craft equipment with Zahidi, and mm-hmm. then like there's buy stuff from another person. But if you go to their stations, they like wrote you a letter, oh, and okay. hers is like, you know, hey, I love you and I'll miss you, and you better come back. And but the way the game made it seem is like, now nah, he's not gonna come back, he's just gonna continue <laughs> on this endless, helpless <laughs> descent into darkness type of a thing. And it's just funny. like, oh, it's okay, well. And it's and it's kind of a bummer because I don't think I don't think there'll be another Outriders. I don't think yeah. they'll do anything else with it. So I'm just not quite there sure maybe. what they'll they'll do with the story. But hmm. you know, the game's a lot of fun to play and it's it's pretty cool. But that's pretty much all. Who owns people can fly? I don't know. Are they independent? Uh, they maybe. That's what I'd be worried about. They're if, getting if bought he, by EA. No, no, no. <laughs> they, that they're independent, they're, so they wouldn't have the funding. Epic, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, they wouldn't have the funding to do an an outrider. The people, they're the people who outriders did do very they're well. They're the people who worked on Gears, the first Gears. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, that like, makes sense. With part the part of the team, yeah. 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 Okay, I was gonna say the parallels are. Um, but yeah, so that's. Mm, 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 I think they're independent in 2015. Yeah, Epic no longer. Because I could see them definitely making something if Epic or Microsoft mm-hmm. owned them. Speaking of that, um, they I have read three th- different studios though. They have a they have a studio in Poland, the UK, and North yeah. America. I mean, World Slayer came out this year, so that it thing did. about yeah. uh, the Lord of the Rings, the rights being bought by somebody. Oh, um, you see that? Um, yeah. well, there's Embracer. Amazon, Amazon. Yeah. This, Embracer. Yeah, yeah, they which they own like a thousand. They bought it for so cheap. Yeah. yeah. Now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing that they? Well, they make more games, or I don't know. They could make a Lord of the Rings game. Yeah, (laughs) like one that's not uh, Gollum. Looks like doo doo. (laughs) Well, they have that uh, the dwarf one, the building one. Oh yeah, that That one looks kind of cool. Give me like a Lord of the Rings warriors Mushu Musu type game. I'm yeah. not too worried about Embracer because of the stuff they've been putting like, out. Return of the okay. King was almost that. Yeah, that's kind of. Yeah, what yeah it kind of was. Yeah. But, but I mean, just make another one. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. In another age besides the third age, because that's the worst age. Or you just do a Musa game where you can play as all the characters from all the ages. Yeah, you could play as Galadriel from the Amazon show. <laughs> Galadriel from the book. Yeah, two different characters. But, uh, uh, what you have you been playing? I've been playing. Uh, I started a cult. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't play this game. I, By you, was, I'm pointing at Andrew. Yeah, it was between Cult of the Lamb or Fire Emblem. And I've and been you, wanting to get this. Your Fire weeb game. self went to Fire Emblem. <laughs> My warrior self went to Fire Emblem. <laughs> I, I think both games are going to be like yeah, favorite yeah. games for you. Yeah. Like end of the year, when we talk about Game of the Years, I think both of those games could be in your Game of the Years. Um, Cult of the Lamb, it's a really good game. Uh, pretty much base building relationship building <laughs> kind oh. of i mean yeah. it's kind of one-sided like hey you're gonna be my bride <laughs> she's like yeah no. you're running a you, cult you yeah. do you do like uh uh what do they call them uh, a right or something and they become your mate oh so you roger more than yeah, yeah yeah pretty much uh and i was naming them uh after people i knew and that oh. quickly stopped when <laughs> Uh, it forced me to marry Andrew. And, uh, <laughs> yes, and and my dad. Ah, oh, of course. All but right. Incest. I ascended cool. my dad to uh, the afterplane, and everybody liked it. Nice. So that was cool. There's, you, was that your there's dad? a great. There's a no. Gr- we did a ritual, and he ascended into the sky. You murdered. Yeah. There's a great <laughs> video skill up who I've mentioned a couple of times who does reviews. He's like, oh, Colt the Lamb is awesome, and he like gives the backstory of like there's this one guy who. Uh, like 
either he was told or someone told him to eat a poop sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, oh, from uh, from somebody. Sunny? Somebody. Oh, no, 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 no. Somebody told me to make Andrew eat poop. Oh. Yeah, and so so you do. <laughs> he he and did then, not like that. Yeah, he didn't like it, and something happens, and then he died. Like skill up, and then he's like, I murdered him, and then I literally performed a ritual to bring him back turned him into one of my followers then i forced him to marry myself and then i murdered him again to transform him into a shield or a being that when i do when i do dungeon crawling it explodes every time you enter a new room and does damage so i put him in a hell of where he dies and reborns and dies and reborns because he made me angry it's just like oh that's so cool that you can do something like that in this game uh, my first death, my cult member first death was, uh, I was looking through the food and I was quickly just clicking as much as I could. So they'd be satisfied. There was, there's one food that's literally just poison and I killed the guy and I didn't know I did that. And so when I, from, from, when I came back from, when I came back from the mission, Kool-Aid. it was like, he's dead. He's like, why is Kool-Aid. he dead? He's young. What? What? Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I, and they I killed him. That's and the then I, uh, crazy. chopped him up and fed him to the rest and they didn't like that. Yeah, but you are the benevolent I, um, leader, yeah. so well, it doesn't matter like, what they want. I eventually made him happy again Did you, by, doing, by, doing, you had any, uh, by doing sermons. Have you had any people who are like, F this? No. Okay. All my cult members, I've like been brainwashing them yes. with mushrooms and stuff. Uh, <laughs> so there's that part of the game, and then there's the completely other side, which is um, Binding of Isaac, yeah, Rogue, Rogue Light, yeah. and yeah, where you're going through and taking down four gods and you're pretty much uh going from room to room like exactly like uh by of isaac, isaac and then after getting through that area it goes up kind of like that card roguelike game oh i know it's a tower yeah, yeah slate spire where, where you go up and up and up yeah it's like that and it's it's pretty fun it's twenty bucks, twenty five bucks, twenty five bucks, yeah. 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 And I've gone through two, two of the bosses, killed them, two of the gods, and just my place has become pretty sustain, sta- sustainable. I have a shack for them to poop in, so I don't have to clean up that anymore. Go find it around the map because they go into random locations and poop there away from everything else. Oh, you, you guys don't do that? Oh, I mean, if we, didn't ha- if we didn't have him here. Uh, and then I have a garden. I usually poop in Andrew's closet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a garden with a scarecrow that kills birds when they come. Nice. And uh, That's yeah. right. It actually it's, kills birds? It's a yeah. Kill, oh. It's a kill it, it has like a trap. It's like, uh, what is like. that thing? Jeepers Creepers? Yeah. Except he doesn't kill birds. He kills Justin Long. <laughs> Justin Long. <laughs> Where's his eyeballs? <laughs> Why would you want his eyeballs or any part of him? I don't know. Your hatred for that man is no. I'm lover. I'm actually over it. My hatred for him because I've seen enough movies where I'm like, that was a pretty good movie. But uh, <laughs> I was really addicted to it. But then I got onto a different addiction train, which is Sniper Elite. <laughs> I you got back on it. I got yeah, back I like, on it. Whoa! I, uh, he went past five. He yeah, started going back to the. Well, others. I so oh. I was like, okay, I'm going to just keep going with this campaign in in five yeah and i beat it a hundred percent on sniper elite which is like hard and got all the collectibles i was like i think i'm gonna check out some other stuff some other sniper games i remember i have three and so i looked at steam and was like oh they have one so i got one and then i was like i wonder if there's some sale and i just randomly checked humble bundle the humble bundle is a sniper bundle oh really and mm, so i got funny. two and four okay for uh, in a humble they also bundle, didn't they nice. have like a resident evil one going on where it's like all yeah. of the games or something mm. it's crazy they do some it was just random chance that i got into sniper elite when the bundle was going on mm. but uh the played, government knows yeah, they're watching i know the... play through one Facebook. and <laughs> he's playing sniper elite <laughs> hit him now with the humble get, bundle get <laughs> uh that game is pretty janky the yeah. first one? Yeah, the controls are bad. The uh the character is still the same like default name, but he's it's a completely different actor. While the one in the normal games are like, we gotta go in there. It's your gonna, like, it's like your classic them. like your classic gra- gravelly, gravelly well, like John Bernthal yep, game. Yep, exactly. And <laughs> yeah. then and then I play the first one. 
Hey, I'm gonna snipe him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go down there and I'm hey, gonna, I'm gonna stop I got this him. sniper. It's a and new it's game. Like, what is this voice? <laughs> and uh, the controls are really wonky. If you want to go fast yeah, and slow, chair, put, and slow, put, what, uh, what do you what do you think? What buttons do you think you press? Well, I would assume S and Tab, S and F. If you want to go fast, what running? Yeah, uh, holding R. That usually reloads. Yeah. That's that actually is the only shift? button that makes sense. Uh, no, it's wheel up and down. Oh, all right, all right. okay. So it's weird, can, but yeah, I at least see. Yeah, so it's weird. So it's like every the... click of the wheel up and down, it goes a little faster and a little faster. Oh, it's like a throttle. And then full on running, like yeah. A... And then uh, hmm. what do you think duck is? Control. Goose. Crouch. Control. C? <laughs> it's usually it's control or C. But... Yeah, yeah. No, it's middle mouse click. Oh, they just like the middle mouse. That's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. They want everything on the mouse. Middle yeah. mouse is weird. And then to scope. Middle mouse is really weird. To scope is space. Why is there a right oh, click? You don't right click. There can is you... a right click, but it's both does that. Uh... So can you just change the key binds? I mean, I I usually stick with whatever tutorial it shows you. Got it. And that made more sense. That would be uh, scope and then, is space. And then if you're if you have like a pistol out or your machine gun out and you press right it's it's you're scoping the scope you're, you're not scoping like the pistol or anything you're scoping the the rifle scope? rifle scope oh gosh but you're so it's shooting, like a quick it's so like a quick to pull out the pistol you have to have the pistol selected and then left click and then a cursor will appear oh well i was gonna say the scoping in maybe isn't so bad with the sniper because it's not like you're scoping in and then shooting like half a second later Right, you have to like figure out where the it, guy is. If you're if you have a pistol and you, you scope, me. you can't <laughs> shoot until outside of the scope. Your guy has completely put away the pistol and taken out That's, the scope. That makes sense. It's not like Battlefield. You're just like, yeah, yeah. People like running that. around like switching yeah. like Call of Duty. Like, <laughs> it's there. There's a lot of firefights because it's also it uh, fire there's no. Um, <laughs> authentic it's just easy medium hard and hard is pretty hard and getting into those situations where you need to get switched to the machine gun when they're close up was very hard on that game (laughs) (laughs) and then i got to the second one which is essentially a reboot where it takes place in the same so it's right before the cold war so you're actually fighting russians of course, just like Bond before yeah, he yep. starts fighting yeah. terrorists. He has and to you're fight. you're dressed up as a German sniper to stop the Russians from getting the whole, the whole move to dress up as a German sniper. Yeah. yeah. Uh you're getting um scientists back that were working on V two rockets that <laughs> it's the Russians a scientist. Yep. German sh- scientists. Ro- German all... German scientists that were working on the V two yeah, rockets yeah, that the Russians wanted. Because and they, so you're getting it back for America. That's World War II. It's like the scientists from Germany went to U, the United States and, and Russia. Russia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And either we were trying to get scientists from Russia or they were trying and to get scientists. And it's Cold War. Yeah. And Sniper Elite 2 was a lot better, but uh, it felt very console. All of a sudden, there's checkpoints. There's no, like, you don't heal. It's just, like, the blood on the screen until I you're dead. I feel like, I feel like, I want to say... Feel- I want to say that. What do you want to feel like? The Andrew? second one was released initially on console. On console, that yeah. makes sense. It's it felt very console like, compared I feel to all like the other ones. These were like PS2 games when they first came out. I think the first one wasn't because okay. those controls are really weird. I can't imagine them that on a console. But that sounds but the like second someone one, porting the game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the second one though is very much like, oh, this was made oh, specifically sure. for a console and not a PC. Yeah. And then after that, they focus completely fe- on PC. Because I want to say I played Sniper Elite Two at a friend's house on his PlayStation Two. At the, yeah, uh, because the the X ray bullet shot thing, <clears throat> I, we like that was our favorite thing to do. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> and that. Uh, I miss very much the hold the breath and it'll show where the bullet will go because in the second one it didn't have that. In the first one it didn't have that, but I I understood why it wouldn't do that because it's so janky. But yeah. (laughs) And then uh, beat that today and started uh, Sniper Elite 3 Africa. and Africa. Yep. Getting much, much better controls. It's like that movie with Andrew Zelba with the lion. Beast. Beast. Oh, dude, I I have something to show you after this. 
So Sniper Elite came out on PC, PS2, Wii, and Xbox. Okay. Sniper mm-hmm. Elite V2 came out on PS3, Xbox 360, okay. Wii, oh, okay. and PC. So it's not like... No. And then there was the Nazi Zombie Army. Yeah. And that's there was the whole other. Elite 3, which was PS4, Xbox One, and then 4, and then VR and 5. Yeah. And 3 on, they, they came out to consoles, but they feel way more like you can quick save anywhere. Mm-hmm. It just seems way more. More PC friendly. PC friendly, yep. But uh, that's that's pretty much all I've been playing. <laughs> nice. Sniper. Sniper Sniper man. Sniping a lot yeah. of Russians and Nazis. Killing Nazis. And when we come back, a get secret a game. game. Yeah, well, we hear the title. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. So the game has several names. It could be Say What Now? Okay. Or it could be Say What? Or say what? it could be Exqueeze Me? Oh, no. No, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But uh, the game is, it's, it's a trivia kind of game, and I will. I like trivia. I'll give you a back. It w- won't be as good as your trivia. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> You're, super Jeopardy. Yeah. yeah. Super yours, duper yours is duper very duper in, Jeopardy. In depth and Thank you. very well thought out <laughs> and very well done. Well, this is was okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's always fun. Uh I will give a description of a plot line in a game, excluding some certain things, and you have to figure out what a game what the game okay. is. And then I'll give like a little extra added thing at the end. If nobody gets it, that'll definitely be like, okay, it's this game. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Uh, chime so in with your so name. So it's like a, a better version of Back of the Box. Kind of, yeah. Because yeah. like, sometimes... Instead of, instead of chiming with my name, I'm going to chime in with, say what? Say what? You can't. Excuse me. If you want to do that, yeah. Uh, At least I told you. <laughs> I guess we could do points, but let's just get through all of them and like see who got the most. Yeah, we'll only keep points if I win. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay, the first one. The love of your life has been kidnapped. Embark on a perilous journey to get her back before she's forced into a marriage she doesn't want. Andrew. Super Mario Brothers? Super no. Mario Bros. No. Okay. There's a game? Yep. That's never the plot of a Mario game, I feel like. Right? <laughs> Bowser's. Oh, no! I Bowser, said the wrong one. Bowser tries to take Peach to, to and marry her. her. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole plot. Okay. Uh, Kevin, Super Mario Brothers 2. No. No. I know it. Super Mario sixty four. Can I can I say it? It's it's Mario Odyssey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> that's that. literally that's the how the play. game is. Wait, but that's uh, with him. Yeah. Oh, that's right. In that's a right. wedding. Is that yeah. actually Peach or is it? Uh, that's Peach. Yeah. It's not Rosalind. Oh, Odyssey. Odyssey. My bad. Yeah. I was, I was thinking. Yeah. And then Mario the add-on. doesn't bang around. The add-on was Peach. to a giant lizard. No, he doesn't even bang her. What? Bowser bangs Peach. The add-on was to a giant lizard. He oh, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally bangs Peach. And I was like, Peach she doesn't. The whole time at his castle. Bang. Forced into a marriage she doesn't want. No, Peach does. Because sometimes, like. I mean, is she really being forced? Yes. Arranged marriage. Sure. Yes. I just feel like Peach spends all I think, day. I think that sometimes it's weird, but uh, Super Mario uh, uh, or Paper Mario, the RPG, mm-hmm. they uh, give backstories and let you play as Peach. And she clearly wants nothing to do with Bowser and oh, tries yeah, to escape yeah, multiple yeah. times. So how come she doesn't do that in all the other games? Well, I mean, it doesn't show it. Yeah, a yeah, uh, thousand year door does a good thing of like y- That's she's a she's door. captured, and then in between story missions, as Mario, you get to do like a Peach mission as she's trying to figure out. Oh, cool! Like and how she, to get, yeah, and yeah. she like clearly wants to get the hell out yeah. of there. I mean, right? if you played Smash, she's got a powerful butt. Oh my god! Like <laughs> that butt can she, KO you yeah, off booty. the screen. Power bottom, and she's got like frying pans and golf clubs. Just yeah. on hand. The next one, the end of the world has passed. Your siblings have died in a mysterious Andrew. plane crash. Oh no! 
What's it? Un, 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 uncheck, uncheck, uncheck. No, yeah, un- yeah. Un- you already un- chimed uh, in. in and your father you was guess. killed in front of you. Embark on a seedy tale filled with crime and deceit to take down the one who killed them. Oh, gosh. Family members are killed. Plane crash. The apocalypse has ended. You said the, the end of the world has passed? Your father was killed in front of you. I think you may have had it. <laughs> no. This sounds like a left behind thing. <laughs> right? Like it's the end of the world has passed, but yeah. you die in a plane crash because everyone your, has ascended. Your, your siblings have died in a plane crash. Were you on the plane? And your father no. was murdered in front of you? And the end of the world has passed. That's the one Yeah, that's, that's the part like me. that's the one that skipped me. I, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm gonna need either. the little extra. Yeah have it the slightest and commit tax evasion along the way i'm assuming the tax evasion has to do with the title like really gives it away i mean the only one i can think of is but i don't remember a this is a good it's a good clue it's just nothing's coming to mind crash i think now at this point you should focus on Commits tax evasion. Yeah, I mean, you give me the console. The it's on? Turn it, boy. Everything tax evasion. Oh. oh, it's on everything. Is it? Did tax. it come out? Did it come out before uh, twenty fifteen? No. Okay. I mean, was that the game? Tax evasion. Are you guessing? Yeah, that's my guess. Yes. What game? Your siblings die in a plane crash in the game. In what game? Turn yeah, a boy, turn a boy commits, commits tax, tax evasion. evasion. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the only. Hey, that's yeah. a question for Andrew. Yeah, I, like, know, like, right. liter- but I, I wasn't thinking that on the nose. I don't tax remember if the siblings dying in a plane crash was the only. <laughs> so I, I, I look into the lore of these things, and yeah, yeah. Wait, their sister you, you dies in a plane game? crash. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> so they the only person that could have answered it. Probably. <laughs> well, but you guys could have talking about tax evasion. I know what game you're talking about, and you don't talk because your dad was killed in front of you. Commits tax evasion. I mean, because I remember the dad dying. I don't remember him dying in front of you. Like it's all. So oh, that's no. Okay, that... Kevin. <laughs> Some semantics. No, 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 no. I remember your dad died, but he wasn't in front no, 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 of no, you. No, no, no. Like none of all of that's all like text. Like someone's telling you this in the game. Like, oh, okay. You, you I didn't see any of this happen. Mm. Um. So you yeah. skipped the no, tutorial. No, the, the game I was thinking at the very beginning. I was like, oh, I'll get this. It was Dark Siders because it's after oh, the end of the yep, world, yep, yep, and yep. all your siblings have died. Wait, so the turnip boy is after Dark the Side, apocalypse? No, no, yeah. your They're like all your siblings are literally no. still alive. I thought the whole thing was you're trying to, like, you're trying the, to find them, but no, they're all alive. Okay. Yeah, they I, I thought they were dead. <laughs> they haven't come down yet. Yeah, okay. because you're one of the four horsemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you came too soon, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you would have guessed it more. <laughs> yeah, am I right? <laughs> yeah, Ed, baby. No, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not Ed. Yes, yeah. that is Ed. No. If, if it's too, if it's too it's soon, too soon. if it's yeah, too that soon, is. that's just <laughs> erectile okay. dysfunction. Yes, is, it is can have to do with... is when you can't at all. You can also go too soon as well. That's a whole different disorder. It's the that's, same dysfunction. It's the same part of it. Yes, it's premature ejaculation. That's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yes, but that can be a part of. But that can be a part of Ed. Here, brought here, to you by Cialis. Here's the next. <laughs> that is a defunction with your erectile. Do you need to reinvigorate your sex here, life? Here's the next one. <laughs> Divorce sucks. Oh, Andrew. it takes two. <laughs> I get that point because I said my name and then he answered. Yeah, but were you gonna know? Were you gonna guess <laughs> yes, that? that? Yeah, was. he was. I just, <laughs> right. yeah, okay. I knew he was. <laughs> yeah, and the the extra one was especially when you're turned into dolls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a it was a pretty easy one. <laughs> no, no, that was good. Yeah. I like the cool. Okay, the next one: a jealous AI forces your love interest to kill themselves in front of you. Andrew Portal. No. Oh, oh the, the portal. You- it doesn't force your loved one to kill yourself in front of you. You solve a bunch of puzzles, and yeah, then there's so cake love, at the it's end. The companion cube. You gotta kill the companion cube. That would actually work because it was wow. a jealous AI. Yeah, but that's not the love of your life. That was your love. What? And then, and then no. you and then you kill it. And it's it a didn't whole... say love of your. I said love interests. Forces you to kill your love interest. Jealous AI forces you to kill your love interest. No, your love interest to kill themselves in front of you. 
to kill themselves in front of you. Well, then it wouldn't fit Portal. No. Correct. My point stands. <laughs> now. This turned into a mini game between Andrew and <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, Everything I say is a mini game <laughs> between me and <laughs> Why don't you flip your box? Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just get something else to fall yeah. off the banister. <laughs> Uh, I haven't the slightest clue. Man, I'm trying to think. I'm Show just now. AI. I'm just trying to think of like AI games. Soma was an AI game. And I'll put in a caveat: uh, if you get another chance to guess, if we go on to the extra, okay, oh, okay. okay. It's like freeze okay. up the yeah. the buzzer. I don't know why. I'm, I'm just going to... Uh, Anthony, Halo 4. Nope. I was... Yeah, it was only going to be Halo for me. I don't the J- know. The Jealous AI is the love interest. I don't think I even know other games. She's and Jealous in, in Halo so 4. Wanna, the extra? Yeah. All wrapped up in a cutesy dating sim. Cutesy. Andrew. Well, this is... Yeah, is this, this is the, Andrew. Oh. Dating sim. It's a weird... It's a weird name. A little bit. Oh, is this the one like with the perfect doves? for Andrew? Is this huh? the one with the doves? No. Okay, that's how to fool boy. Yeah, friend. that's what I was thinking of. That's right. literally just doves. That hateful birds. boyfriend. How to fool boyfriend? But yeah, you don't find that out until like the end. I mean, they're birds. No, they're like people, and then they turn to birds like <laughs> at the end. Oh. And then you're like, wait, I was dating birds the entire time. <laughs> Dude, if I had a dime every time I have them, yeah, I know. <laughs> Would you hate that? I have, I have no idea. No idea. I don't. Uh, it's Doki Doki Literature Club. I, what the- literally, <laughs> literally, I was like, I was like, this is Doki. That'd be Doki. a two thousand like, pointer. I was like, this is this is Doki Doki. I was like, is Doki? I'm thinking of there's a one with a P. It's like one with the bear. The game with the bear. Oh, Dang and Rampa. Yeah, Dang and Rampa. I was like, is that Dang and Rampa or is that Doki Doki? And I couldn't. You should just guess one. Of them. I should have just guessed. Yeah, you essentially could have had two guesses. I should have yeah. Doki. Yeah, just do fifty fifty. You're in the 90s, and your mom gets you a new game. As you play through it, you slowly start to realize the evil intentions the game has for you. Oh, that's the uh, Anthony. That's the uh, Dunk Cut VR game. Oh. Yep. It's the Duck Hunt VR game. Called? Duck Hunt VR game. It all ends in <laughs> either the death of you and your mom, or a televised manhunt that ends in a killer's death i don't remember the name of this game hunt i know i duck. know i know your duck hunt <laughs> dunk hunt vr i know I, you talked about this game yeah yeah we I know just, i just we, don't I, I, yeah. Yeah. none of us know the name i just of this don't game. remember the name and the extra was a killer dog mascot from your duck hunting game. Yeah. What's the name of the game? Duck season. Duck season. Oh, oh duck, duck season. season. Rabbit season. Yeah, Rabbit right. season. I remember you specifically talking about that. I feel like I get, you know, like a quarter of a point. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you 75. I'll give you, yeah. I'll give you, I'll give you half. Yeah. That makes a full point. <laughs> yeah. It's like a quarter <laughs> and a 75. Yeah, I'll give you the other half for saying the name before you. The name of the game before your name. Yeah. So now you have a point. Yeah. I'll give you a nickel so you can have a dollar, <laughs> dollar five. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> You're a reporter investigating an odd phenomenon on an island. Andrew. Oh. Bugs next. Yep. Paras- I, feel, I feel like that <laughs> describes a couple of games. Yeah. <laughs> Parasitic cannibalism and terrifying body horror ensues, yeah. all involving food. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That would have given it. Yep. This one, government conspiracies, missing cats, Bond-like villain jets with lasers, and ancient alien technology are all some things you may see on this job. Can you read it again? Government conspiracies, missing cats, Bond-like villain jets with lasers, and ancient alien technology. Did you say Bond-like villain Villain. jets with lasers? Yep. Missing cats. Yep. Is this the game that's like the Stanley Parable? It's made like this by the same people. You're in the room. You got to press the red button. Solve all the stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, Boop. 
No, no, no. That's what happens when I only play Final Fantasy. Yeah, I don't know any other games. Andrew may have. Okay. Uh, I feel like all these games. Yeah, yeah. 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 Andrew is the only person. Did Ben just go through Game Pass? And Uh, (laughs) an extra caveat: a job that involves water blasting the dirt away. Oh, is it Power Wash Simulator, Anthony? Yep. Oh, really? There's a Bond-like villain jet that that you have to wash. Yeah. And then you uncover that there's like a laser weapon connected. I didn't to know it. there was an actual plot to this game. There I is. You yeah. just go and power. I up. washed a van. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm. They uh, while you're washing, you get text message from the people that you're washing for, and it's like this <laughs> oh, whole huh. conspiracy. That's awesome. Thing if going this was on a multiplayer with, game, it would be the, like <laughs> it'd be like Green Hell, where I'd be power washing some, and then there'd be like a yeah. story beat, and I'm like, <laughs> mm-hmm. what's happening? Yeah. With like the mayor who's has this vehicle and is like laundering money and there's cats missing in the in the city. Wow, and, that's crazier than I thought it was going to be. And then you're like on Mars uh, washing a rover at one point <laughs> and you see like doors that you have to wash that enter and do like a... Where do you get the water if you're on Mars? <laughs> I don't know. Because that's kind of a waste of water. Yeah. If you need the water. Unless Mars has water on it, which they say that it does. It's frozen water. You're just a small town boy whose neighbor starts you on a quest through gangs, zombies, garbage monsters, cults, time travel, and your very existence Andrew, to Earth stop an bound. alien. Yep. Oh, I wouldn't have got that, but well done. To stop an alien invasion that he himself is a part of. And the mm. extra one was try to swing hard with your trusty bat and don't forget your favorite food. Yep. Pizza. Always pizza. Andrew, of the games that have been mentioned, how many have you played? Uh, I'll tell you the ones I haven't played. Okay. Uh, Duck Season. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are tasked with finding out why your mother or your aunt may have murdered your father. Anthony, what is my memoir? Nope. <laughs> Say the name again <laughs> or say it again. You are tasked with finding out why your mother or your aunt may have murdered your father. I like the I like the idea that the question leads that it's either your mother or your aunt or your mother could be your aunt. <laughs> That's Depending actually on. yes. <laughs> Do you know what game this is? No, I told you it's my memoir. <laughs> I have no idea what uh, game this is. Uh, Binding of Isaac. You think I have the slightest clue? <laughs> <laughs> Through I, a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! Don't say anything. Don't say it. Go ahead. Through a series of police interview tapes out of order. Don't say it. I don't. Kevin, know. Kevin, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually. Do know, but I don't I, know the name. <laughs> the I don't game. think I know. Is it called? Is it called her? Her what? Her story. There yeah, it is. Okay. There it yeah. is. Her story. Oh. I knew. I knew the game. Is it one it. word? Her story. Her st- instead of history. No, it's her oh, story. Her, it's two okay. words. I thought it was yeah. like a okay. Is this the Walking House one? No, no, it's, that's gone it's, home. It's, yeah, gone okay. Home. This is your. It's just a bunch of AMV interviews, oh, and okay. then you find out halfway through there are two different people. Okay, and they're twins. And one of them uh, may have killed the other's lover, who was your dad. Okay. Rad. Earth has been cut off. After jumping through a wormhole and losing half of Earth fleet's, Earth's fleet of explorers, humanity is stranded in space with no known way to get home. Enter Araxis, a habitable planet for society oh. to thrive on. Centuries of peace later, war is brewing, and you're to take up arms against your fellow man. Kevin Dune. No. That's a good that's a good. Oh, I thought answer. you said Arrakis or whatever. Arrax. No, Arrax- oh, Araxis. Yeah. Uraxis. Some of it is outriders, but Arax- it's not outriders Arax- because there wasn't then, hundreds of and years some of, of peace. It's Mass Effect Andromeda. Araxis? No, but when you get to the wormhole. The fleet isn't destroyed. That doesn't have to... And it isn't World of Peace. You're looking for a habitable planet. Wait a minute. <laughs> I hate you. Is it pla- Anthony, is it Planet Side 2? <laughs> 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 the last one. 
class was three factions you know, more, you know. more into be specific. I just, it, that's, I why, that's why I have no clue because I've never seen anything. You know what's hilarious? I didn't even game. know that was the backstory to the game. <laughs> you, I just go into j- and then I thought I was like, Araxis sounds really familiar. And then I remembered Araxis is the planet you're on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, the yeah. game that you put the, the extra was hours. three factions warring to be specific. I what I love is Planet Side Two has been an answer to like four <laughs> yeah. trivia and I, questions. I've not gotten any. He's never gotten <laughs> never, one. never. It's fun. I I thought Dune instantly because I got Dude, Arrakis. 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 Yeah, it's Arrakis yeah. House or uh, Arrakis. But or... yeah, I mean nobody plays Planet Side for the story. Yeah. Let's just be honest. <laughs> no wait, isn't it House of Trays? House Trades. of Trays. No, yeah, Arrakis Trades. is the Arrakis planet. Arrakis is the planet. Arrakis. The sand planet. Yeah. Oh yeah, Atreides is the yeah. Uh, Trades. There's the a lot of A things, mm-hmm. you know. And then Paul. Yeah, as as uh, Scott called him, Paul the uh, the Dune Christ, <laughs> yep. the Sand yep. Christ, or pretty something. much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he is. Yeah. You and your brothers must team up to take down gangs, robots, dinosaurs, mutants, and aliens to save New York. Andrew, Teenage Mutant Ninja Tri- Turtles, Shredder's Revenge. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the extra was with help from the Rat Guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super Splinter, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> a battle is raging between half-breeds. Powerful vampires and fearsome werewolves battle out in London as you and your siblings uncover a conspiracy involving your leader's son. Right. Andrew, Order 1886? Yep. Wow. Well done. I never played it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't play Planet Side either. I didn't. I, I didn't get that one. Oh yeah, Anthony got that. Yeah, one. I played yeah. Planet Side. Yeah, Anthony did play it, so he. Deserved. I also played a little of Order eighteen eighty six. Yeah. And the extra one's taking place in the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> but not in the eighteenth century. Mm. True. That's the because that means no wait. It's the oh yeah nineteenth century. Yeah, it's the nineteenth yeah, right. century. Yeah. Travel all around the world on your quest to thwart a billionaire's evil plan to merge with an AI and become the ultimate being. The men in black are coming for your brother. Will you stop them? Or his, is his role in this game at an end? Will Smith's coming for me. Andrew. Deus Ex? Yep. Oh. Uh, very nice. And the extra was just God from Machine, which Deus Ex stands for. Yeah. Oh. The Ferngill Republic is at war with the Gotoro Empire. Yoba, the ancient guardian deity, watches over the Ferngill Republic. A mega corporation is moving in on the town. I, I, I don't know any of those words. Yep, <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, Anthony, yep. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. No, I'm gonna have to read that one again. It, this one wasn't really well. It's just stating facts. The Ferngill Republic is at war with the Gotoro Empire. Yoba, the ancient guardian deity, watches over the Ferngill Republic. And a mega corporation is moving in on the town. Oh, my lord. On the town? It sounds almost convoluted enough to be a Final Fantasy game. Norco? It's not. I don't recognize it. Or Village. Names. This ain't like the Araxis one where I'm like, okay. No idea. Gonna have to give me a hint. The... You want the extra? Yeah, Does Andrew Anthony can get want it. the extra? I do. You used to work for that corporation until your oh, grandfather Stardew left Valley. you. <laughs> yep. Oh. I like in my head. I was like, the funny. The funny thing is, the corporation is the only thing I remember. I don't remember mm-hmm. the. Uh, somebody's like a soldier in the Fergil Republic, which. Stardew Valley is in the Ferngill Republic. Okay. And there's the evil Gotoro Empire that he was a prisoner of war for for a while, and they were, like, horribly mistreated. Okay. So it's like this whole uh, Jojo Mart story the... going on. Yeah. Yeah, the Yoba is the guardian spirit of yeah. Stardew Valley. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and yours. Uh, battle your way through monsters until you fight and catch God. Pokemon? Kevin. Oh, nope. Go ahead. EDF five. No. Yes. Oh, what? Do you it's, catch God in EDF five? I mean, you catch him and you kill him. But Andrew, Pokemon? No. Oh, that was another good guess. Yeah. But you'd have to say 
Which one is the one to catch God? Uh, Diamond and Pearl. Shield? Diamond and Pearl. Because he's the one with Arceus. Oh, and that's God? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not EDF. Okay. Well, you said battle your way through monsters and then catch God. And I, was like, I mean, oh, I feel yeah. like I did yep. get it. It's not no, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. You would have to name the specific Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a Pokemon. Battle through monsters and catch God. Anthony. Temtem. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the extra is in a fishing game. Oh. Catch God and Anthony in fishing VR. No. Oh. Andrew, Kevin. Is this Moonglow Bay? No. Okay. Raft. No, it's uh, Final Fantasy Monsters of the Deep. <laughs> what so in was, the hell? That was the mobile game, right? No, that was a uh, VR. Oh, VR. Final Fantasy 15 game. Oh, okay, that's right. Literally, where that's you, the first time I've ever heard you of You fight yeah. and catch monsters all throughout, and then the last one is literally God who's a fish. Is there yeah. a backstory yeah. for, the, for 15 in it? Yes. Do I have to play that before I play? <laughs> <laughs> then I have to watch King's Glaive. Then I have yeah. to watch. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was. There's a lot of It's hard to come up with. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, and research the lore of these games. I, I, yeah. I'm still upset about Planet <laughs> Planet Side. So too. we're not keeping points, but uh, I got zero. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Anthony got two, three. I got more than two. I think three. You got Planet Side. You got because you got two others. half points, and then two extra. Points. The ones that we haven't played that Andrew plays, they don't count for him. So right. we. Uh, right. oh. <laughs> so that, that was like squeeze me squeeze say what? me say and, what and say what now and the question of the week yes. is what's your go-to sick game like i'm like, sick yeah you like you're sick home like sick it's so home. sick <sighs> Tony you're, you're feeling on the weather you want to play something but not something you'll have to think about or something it's oh. like your your go-to sick game something something diablo um, it's usually what I'm playing at the time. I'm gonna go with YouTube videos, <laughs> <laughs> like watch people do yeah. play. Yeah, if I'm sick, yeah, if you're watching somebody do play, yeah, I, like, that, would I count, like that would a, count. That would count. I think if I'm sick, like I guess it depends. You know, if I'm but, like I want to lie down. But. My thing now, like one of my things, my favorite things to watch on YouTube, it's. Uh, Achievement Hunter, Matt and Michael do randomizers of games. And mm. I think it's really fun to watch people who, one person who knows the game really well but plays a ton of randomizers is kind of like the uh, liaison to a guy who knows all the games but hates randomizers, but he's the one who's playing through it. <laughs> so he knows what, like, for example, they did it for, um, uh, what's the... Zelda game where you use the sword and you become old and young again multiple times. Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. Hey man, I'm not a Zelda the, one. The number one Zelda game yeah, of all time. But the guy Michael knows that game through and through. Mm-hmm. But because it's all randomized, he like knows where to go and what to do or things that are checks. But he doesn't know what's in it. What? So the, like it's inter- it, Like I can I play watched, a randomizer of a game. I, couldn't I watched Kraken play through Wind Waker, Wind Waker that way, and yeah. that was pretty They're fun. Doing, but it's so chaotic yeah they're doing wind waker right now and it's like there's so many checks all over the place in wind waker that they're just like it's absolute insanity there there was are you checks so anytime you open something in a game or you're Mm -hmm. rewarded with something that can be randomized so if you talk to a character and they give you the bow yeah well when you talk to the character in this game They'll give you something, but, it's yeah, like, but yeah. it may not be okay. the boat. So, so that's it's not checks. necessarily a chest. But yeah, how so do you? No, get... no, not chest. Checks. Yeah, yeah. Like what? Wh- how many checks do you need to go to? Yeah. Like that have the chance to be an item. It kind and of that item could be something. It useful kind of to om- let you almost turns it things. into Breath of the Wild, where you can go in any direction. Yeah, but isn't yeah. Much. Are, isn't some of the content like you need certain items for yeah. stuff? Yeah, so and, then, and you could you could, you could find them in a chest no, at the very you beginning. You can set it, you can set the game logic to where Kryken, no matter what Kryken, you Kryken, need Kryken got halfway through the game without a sword. Yes. Oh, they're on part seven right now. Mm-hmm. They're on part seven right now, and they've put him ten hours in the game, and he has no sword. He had bombs wider away though, so he's yep. using like bombs. But to wouldn't do that be possible things, to get but... stuck? Like if you need no, so the game logic is set up that you can't get stuck. You okay. may se- think you have nothing to do, but there's like a seed list that tells you where something is. Oh, okay. so if there's a part of a game that you need a sword to beat it, 
it's a, it's possible for you to get to the area where the sword is uh, so that you can access okay. it. So you just don't know where it is. There's some logic behind it. It's not yeah. like... So you, yeah. Randomizers, you really have to know like... The game through like, and through. Like you won't have a sword, but you'll have like uh, the hammer that could smash something that could get you to an area to that you so wouldn't well. be able to have without the sword. That's... I don't know. I, I remember when you talked about the Pokemon randomizer. I was like... I, <laughs> that, where See, the Pokemon like, randomizer is like... It's just what Pokemon you come around. You don't need a you don't need a specific Pokemon to beat the game, so to speak. Yeah, no, Whereas but the one you were saying you need, where like Charmeleon was like Ice Steel type. Oh, that, that would yeah, drive yeah, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would drive me insane. Yeah, be like, no. yeah. Again, you would need to have mastery of the game because you would need to know. Oh, this Pokemon is an Ice whatever, so it's good against this type. But you would only know that by fighting that type and seeing what moves it uses. Right. And you would have to be like, well, this, you know, Moltres is using. 